I'm really excited today because I'm surrounded by some really cool products sent to me by Skosh. So let me tell you how all this got started. A few months ago, my riding buddy, Don Smith, from TexasTwoLane.com, had his motorcycle battery die on him when he was at lunch on a ride with some buddies. And he went out to his bike after lunch, and his bike wouldn't start. He actually texted me or called me, I don't remember which, and I was on my, just getting ready to get in the car and go kind of bail him out, maybe go buy a battery or something for him. But one of his riding buddies happened to have a little portable jump starter in his bike, and they were able to hook it up to Don's bike using little alligator clips on the, you know, the positive negative battery terminals and get his bike started, and he was able to get on down the road and get home. That got me thinking, you know, I really should have some kind of a jump starter on my bike just in case something like that happens to me. I've had batteries die on me before, and it's certainly no fun. You get little or no warning on a motorcycle or even in a car that your battery is about to die. And if you're out somewhere on the highway or at a hotel or at a friend's house or whatever, you're stuck. You'd have to go buy a new battery. So that got me thinking, maybe I should have a jump starter on my bike. And I started doing some research online. And I came across a company called Skosh. Now, this is a California-based company. They've been around for about 30 years. They make lots of different stuff for cars. And if you read up about the company, you can tell the people behind the company are a bunch of gearheads. And, you know, they ride bikes. They have sports cars. They're really into uh, motorsports. So anyway, I found this power bank, and I asked them if they would be interested in sending me one to test and review. It was the best one I found. And if you go to Amazon, you're going to find dozens of different car jump starter, portable jump starter models out there. And I'm going to tell you why I chose Skosh and to work with on this video. And they did. They agreed to. They sent me this Powerbank 700A. It's a 700 amp. It's actually powerful enough to start an eight-cylinder car. It's got 15,000 milliamps. I mean, this thing is really powerful. And they make lots of different models. Uh, that don't have quite this much power that would be more than adequate for most motorcycles. So you might want to check that out on their website. But let's open it up and take a look at it. Okay, well it comes in a really nice carrying case, or, you know, a storage case, which is... Uh, you could actually fit this in the saddlebag on most motorcycles. Let's open it up and see what's in there. Okay, we've got a set of alligator clips, which this is what you would use on a car or a motorcycle if that's all you had. And on the other end of the alligator clips, you have this kind of a quick connect. It's like a larger version of an SAE connector, like what you would see on a battery tender. It's not the same. It's, it's thicker. It's heavier duty. Uh, because of the power that it has to carry through it. Uh, let's see, we got some other things here. We have an AC adapter charger. This would be what you use to charge the power bank with. And then we have, uh, looks like a cigarette lighter adapter, so that if you needed to, I guess, if you needed to charge it from a cigarette lighter or either, I don't know, I'll have to read up on that. I'm not exactly sure what you would use this for, maybe to power things that would run off of a cigarette lighter style uh, adapter. Okay, here is the main event right here. This is the Skosh Powerbank 700A. I, that means 700 amps for those of you that don't know what A means. And it also says down here at the bottom right, 15,000 milliamps. Now you see it's very portable. Now, that, that would easily fit in my saddlebag, no problem. You could each actually carry this in a motorcycle jacket if you had to. Um, you'd probably want to put it in a Ziploc bag or something, but you could do it. Now, there's several features this thing has. It's more than just a jump starter. It actually has a couple of USB-A style ports. One is a 1.1 amp charger. The other one is a 2.2 amp. So you could use this to charge your cell phone or to charge any other electrical device uh, that uses a USB charger. 
It also has a flashlight. You can turn it on here. Maybe we can get the flashlight to come on. There we go. It's got a really bright little LED flashlight. And it has different modes. There we go. It's got like a flash, a slow flash, and then off. So it's pretty cool in case of an emergency. There's also a little boost button. has a look a little lightning bolt icon. I'm not sure what that does. Probably has something to do with the uh, jump starter when you go to jump it. Uh, and then behind a little rubber door here, you do have your uh, port for this uh, universal, or I say universal, it's their little quick connect. Okay, and that's cool. And like I said before, and, and interesting, it actually has a full charge right out of the box. That's kind of nice. What I'm excited about is this right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the game changer. I'll just read the title to you. Battery Jumper Leads Plus SAE Trickle Charger Adapter. Let's open it up and take a look. This is what makes the power bank so unique and great for motorcycles. You have their little quick connect adapter with two battery terminal leads. So you wire this to your motorcycle battery. I'm gonna to try to get this to hang out on the left side of the bike outside the side cover. So it's always there. But you know what? That's going to be a problem because I've already got my battery tender SAE connector hanging out of the side cover. I don't know if I'm going to have room for both of those. Oh, wait. They thought of that. They also include an SAE adapter. Now, what that means is I can take off my SAE adapter off my battery, put this in its place have this hanging out the side cover. And then I plug this into my battery tender and anytime I need to trickle charge off the battery tender, I use the Skosh Quick Connect. They thought of everything. I don't know of another brand that has anything like this. I know Don Smith has one of these chargers. He tried to find out if his brand has it. It doesn't. I haven't found another one that has this. This is what makes the Skosh Power Bank Series so unique and so usable for motorcyclists. I cannot wait to get this installed on my 2018 Goldwing. Let's get to the garage. On my Honda Goldwing, I'm going to remove this side cover so I can access the battery. Depending on what kind of motorcycle you're installing this on or an ATV, you just need to access the battery. You may have to remove your seat. It just depends on your brand of motorcycle. You'll also notice I have this little SAE connector hanging out through the side cover. That's for my battery tender. It's actually wired into an isolator fuse block under the seat. Uh, so I don't need to remove this right now. I'll remove it the next time I take my seat off. Right now, I'm just concerned with getting access to the negative and the positive terminals you can see here on the battery. And you'll notice I have those leads going to that isolator fuse block attached to the battery. Now we're going to install this Scotia adapter. The black terminal will go to the negative side, obviously, and the red will go to the positive. And here I'm just attaching that black ground cable into the battery terminal. In my case, using a flathead screwdriver, it depends on your particular battery, how it's set up. And get it good and firmly tight. And then I'll move over and do the exact same thing on the positive terminal for the uh, red wire. Now, because of where my battery is located, I'm going to be very careful to get this uh, terminal screw out because I don't want that little nut behind there to fall out because it'd be very difficult to get to on this particular motorcycle. You might want to be careful when you remove these uh, terminal bolts just to make sure that little floating nut behind there doesn't get dislodged or get out of place. Now, I was able to get the quick connect adapter to slip through that little opening in my side cover, as you can see here. It makes for a really tidy installation, and it just kind of tucks up out of the way where you can barely see it. And then when I need to connect it to my battery tender, uh, I'll simply remove that little cap. And here is the SAE connector adapter. As you can see, very cool. This is the lead on the right coming from my battery tender. I'll just plug it into the adapter for the Scotia adapter. And then all I have to do 
is plug in this Scotch adapter anytime I need to trickle charge my battery or maintain the battery with the battery tender. It's very cool. Now, this quick connect adapter that we just installed is how we'll also hook up the jumper, the power bank, should we ever need to jump the motorcycle. On my Honda Goldwing, you can see this Scotch power bank, the whole kit fits very easily into my left side saddlebag, or you can just simply slip the power bank into the glove box on the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. It's small enough to fit just about anywhere. Now, I have the Power Up 700. This will start 8-cylinder, they even claim 10-cylinder engine, I believe. It'll start anything, basically. And it's just the biggest, baddest one they make. They also have a Power Up 300, which is a 300 amp. It will still start up to a six-cylinder engine. So that's probably big enough for most of you with most motorcycles. Um, you definitely want to get the quick connect, disconnect kit that I showed installing uh, out in the garage. And I will put links to all of these products, the Power Up 700, the Power Up 300, and the Quick Disconnect Kit. I'll put links to all of that in the description of this video because I have these all on my Amazon store. So in my opinion, this is the best jump starter system for a two-wheeler, four-wheeler, ATV, any kind of recreational vehicle. This is what I've got. I'm recommending it to you. And I want to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Garage.